G'day everyone and welcome to Common Prayer. Today I've brought you to a Billabong River Creek Bridge type area just outside of Tara where I've been for a funeral interview. And today I want to talk to you about 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, the final chapter of this incredible book. Now yesterday Chris spoke about how the Spirit of God prompts us to live in a different way. If we are temples of the Holy Spirit, then we shouldn't want to drag the Spirit of God through the ugliness of life. Instead, we should live as vessels of the Holy Spirit, glorifying God and blessing others. In 1 Thessalonians 5, Paul has some parting remarks about the day of the Lord. He says, you know when the day of the Lord, there's no need to write to you. And he says, when people are saying, peace, peace, that's when the Lord will come, when you least expect it, because the Jesus will return like a thief in the night. And so friend, I encourage you to just keep that at the forefront of your mind. Jesus will return, whether it's in a hundred thousand years or whether it's tomorrow or whether it's on the day you die, you will face Jesus. And so Paul encourages us again to live in a certain way. And he urges us to live in community. He says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 14, And we urge you, brothers, admonish the idle, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, and be patient with them all. Some Christians in Thessalonica said, well, Jesus is coming tomorrow, so I don't need to work, and so they'd given up their jobs. Some were stressing out because their loved ones had died, and they thought, well, if, if they've died and Jesus hasn't returned, will they go to heaven? Some thought that Jesus had already come and that he wasn't taking them with them. He, they'd missed the rapture. But Paul calls for sobriety. Paul calls for calm. And he says to all these groups of people, you need to work together in harmony and you need to live in eager anticipation of God. So friend, today I encourage you to really follow Paul's example. Think of the people in your life. Who can you admonish when they're idle? Who can you encourage if they're feeling faint-hearted? Who in your life is lacking in strength and needs you to help them? How could you be there for other people and encourage them to wait in eager anticipation for the coming of the Lord? And my prayer for you today comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23, which says this, now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely and make your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a great day, everyone. Keep living in the light of Jesus' return. Keep encouraging and admonishing and strengthening in Jesus' name. See you next time.